In this video, I'm going to be going over multiplexers and decoders. So a multiplexer, also known as a MUX, is basically a logical element that will choose between selected signals to choose potential outputs. So I'm going to start with a basic 2 to 1 MUX and I'll go um, up to an 8 to 1 MUX. So for a 2 to 1 MUX, we have one selected signal and we have two potential outputs and we have to select between one of those outputs. So this is how I like to view a MUX. So basically what the MUX will do is you're going to input your possible outputs. That's how I like to see it. So let's say we wanted to output um, X and we wanted to output Y, right? So when we, when we select this signal down here, so the selected signal, let's say the selected signal is zero, we're going to get our output X. But when our selected signal is one, we get Y. So that's base, the basics of a multiplexer. Now let's do a four to one mux. It's a little bit more complicated, but the idea is the same. So this is a four to one mux. And as I start, I always label these things. So we have one output as always, and we have four possible outputs. So on the left are our possible outputs, on the right is the selected output, and on the bottom we have our selected inputs. So these are, this is what a 4 to 1 MUX would look like. So for the first output, that would be the number 0 in binary, and then 1, and 2, and 3. So let's say these signals are A and B. So when A, B, uh, actually let's label these. W, X, Y, and Z. So when A, B is equal to 0, 0, that is equal to the number 0. So it would select this signal, this one, and we would get W as our output. So when A, B is equal to 0, 1, that is equal to 1, and that would select this one, which would be our x. And the same goes when a, b is uh, 1, 0, which is 2, it would select our y. Or when a, b is 1, 1, it would select our z. That's the basics of it. So now let's go over an 8 to 1 mux. Um, it's not very much different, but I'll go over it anyway, because I think this is the largest mux that you will probably see. So let's give ourselves some room. It's not the perfect drawing, but I think it will suffice. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's move that seven down here. Okay, so this is our eight to one mux. So we have one output and we should have eight inputs. And we have three selected signals. So I've been asked before, how do we know how many selected signals we have? Um, the answer is the formula, it gets a little complicated, but log base, uh, log base two of your number of inputs is equal to your number of selected signals. So 
if we do log 2 of 8, we get the number 3. And if we do log, log base 2 of 16, we get the number 4. So that's where that formula comes from. Um, but it might just be easier to remember that uh, a 2 to 1 mux has 1 select, a 4 to 1 mux has 2, and an 8 to 1 mux has 3. But that's the formula if you're trying to use a very large mux and find the number of selects. Anyway, let's get back to our 8 to 1 mux. So let's call our select signals A, B, and C. And, um, hmm, I will just use, uh, here, maybe we'll do a combined type of thing. So let's do, let's call these W, X, Y, and Z's. Um, this is just an example because I don't want to use too many variables, but let's say our, our number is A, B, C. And let's say we have the number uh, 100. Zero, zero. So that's equal to 4. So we would select this and we would get Y. So let's do one more example for this. And then I will go over decoders. So let's do the example um, 101, which is equal to the number 5. And select Y. Okay, so let's go over a decoder. So for a decoder, let's just do a two to four decoder. So this is a two to four decoder. And so we're going to have four outputs and two inputs. So let's call our outputs I and we're going to call them I zero, or I3 down to I0. And let's just call our inputs A and B. So for a decoder's truth table, we're going to have something that looks like this. Your normal truth table. And let's do um, I0, I1, I2, I3. So for the truth table, we're going to have one, zero, zero, zero. So when A and B are zero, it's going to select I zero and I zero will be one, zero, zero, zero. And that's this one and then this one. So that's our truth table for a two to four decoder. So you can see the pattern here it chooses a different output based on its inputs. So simply, if we had, let's say, A and B equals one zero, then we basically get that I2 is equal to one. And all other inputs are equal to zero. So to show that, let's label these quick. Let's call this I0, I1, I2, and I3. So when AB is equal to 1, 0, we have 0, 0, 1, 0. So we get 0, 0, 1, 0. Let's do another example. When AB is equal to 0, 0, we get I0 is 1, I1 is 0, I2 is 0, I3 is 0.